Hey guys and welcome to the Akinons YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about user defined exceptions and how we can create these in the Python programming language. So let's get started. So basically, exceptions are raised when there are errors occurred during the execution of a program. So there are two types of ex exceptions. One is inbuilt ex exceptions, for example, zero division error when you try to divide a number by zero. And the other one is user defined exceptions. So to create a user defined ex exception, we need to inherit from the exception class. So for that, what we need to do is call the class. And for example, I'm going to create an exception called as negative number exception. And this exception will simply raise an exception when negative numbers are given as an input and this will be inherited from the exception class. Okay. And now basically I'm going to create an init method that will simply invo invoke its value when the error is called. So first let me create the self that is its instance variable and now the value. So every time we will initiate any error, we will throw its value call. Okay. So let me show you that and that's its value. And now let's create a simple example where we are trying to raise an exception using the raise keyword, which means we will purposely call the exception to see how it works over an example. So let me call the class name negative number exception that is inherited from the exception class. And now let me just put some value minus one. And now let me call the except negative num exception as an error as error. And now let me just say, or instead of print, just showing the error, let me print the error and I will say no negative numbers as simple as that. And let me type in number imported is put an arrow and now I can simply put in the error and basically we are creating an instance of the class that is negative number exception and we want the value. So all I'll say is error dot value. So we are obtaining its values attribute. Okay. And now if I run it, as you can see, it's simply raising an error saying that no negative numbers number inputted is minus one. But now an issue is if I even add positive numbers, it's going to raise the same error. So as you can see, so it's going to raise the same error, even though this number is positive. So basically what we can do is we can simply create a if else condition. So we can just check like let's create a variable called as num and for the timing, let's give it a value of 10. And if number is greater than zero, then we're simply going to print the number print num else, or even if it is greater than or equal to zero in this condition, because I'm only working with negative numbers exception else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the error. I'm going to raise negative number exception. So let me just take it down from here, raise negative number exception. And now, okay, so let me raise this exception and I obviously need to delete this. Or I can also, what I can do is put it in the try block. So I'm putting the whole if and else condition in the try block and then I'm raising. So let me do that. And now it works perfect. So now what is happening is we are raising a negative and the number exception for the given number, not 10. And now if I run this, it works perfectly. So 10 is getting printed since the number is greater than zero. But let's say if I change it to minus 10, as you can see, we, what we do is if we go inside the else condition, we are raising our own exception that we have created. And this exception prints this value, no negative numbers. And the given number inputted is minus 10. And that is created using our user defined class. That is the negative number exception inherited from the exception class given to us by the Python developers. One advantage of using a user defined class is you can call the class on every time you face the same common error you're working in your project rather than implementing it in separate blocks of code. So that's it from this video guys. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and share it with your friends and subscribe to the Akinons YouTube channel for more fun and interesting videos.